Hi everyone, my name is Maddie, you call me really I'm 20 years, I live in London but currently I'm home due to the infamous English lockdown. It's been four years since I last properly cleaned out my closet. I don't even live here anymore, this is my parents' home. I brought obviously with me a huge suitcase full of stuff from England but I'm moving out throughout the next month. There's really no reason for all my stuff to just be here. We are in desperate need of a closet clean out and a growing up of my closet. A lot of this stuff is just not fitting the grown-up Maddie, but instead the 16-year-old that used to live here before I moved out. When I was growing up and living in this bedroom, I first went to this more posh middle school. I remember we used to wear like bell jeans and um, like juicy couture. You kind of bought clothes because your friends wore it or because it was a trend at the school. Now my style is kind of altered away from that, but I do still have some of the clothes from that area in here. When I was in high school, my school was kind of a hipster, like more hip school, and some of my clothes here still resemble that, so I would buy clothes that the people in my school would wear and other things that maybe wouldn't last but I just thought they were cool at the moment, it would fit with the vibe. There have been some questionable outfits coming out of this closet for the past five years and we're finally going to be cleaning it all up and growing up my closet. This is the perfect time for you as well to just finally take that step. I'm going to be sharing some of my tips, some of my checklist items and just take you guys through the whole process. Let's go. Hold up. Before we get into the process of cleaning out our closets, we need to establish some possible grow up steps to know what you're looking for in terms of what you want to keep, what you're looking for in terms of what you want to donate or sell, just give you a sort of guideline to how to grow up your closet when going through everything. The first grow up step is switching out those bold, loud, neon colors, those colors you wouldn't really wear anymore and that signify kind of a few years back for you, and switch these out with more timeless neutrals and like pastel colors such as this one. This jumper is from Access Only, which is actually the brand that I'm collaborating with on this video. Access Only has beautiful grown up garments that are investment pieces and that can also be worn in so many different scenarios, which is really key to more grown-up wardrobe and I'll show you these pieces throughout the video as well. Next up is keeping graphics to a minimum. We all love those graphic tees. For me that's not a grown-up piece of clothing. I feel quite young in it. Swap high quantity low quality for more high quality items. You know when you used to buy like 10 different t-shirts and you would be like oh but I need 10 because they're all gonna be worn out anyway. What I've started shopping in the past couple of years instead is like one t-shirt but that lasts me for so much longer. So always think about this when you're shopping. Think about how timeless is it? How is the fit going to evolve and is it stretchy? Like is it gonna stretch out? Is it gonna stay the same? This jumper for example you've probably seen it in a lot of my videos because I've had it for the past three and a half years I think. This is a cashmere turtleneck jumper. It cost it quite a lot when I bought it but the fact that I've kept it for three and a half years wear it on a weekly basis and it stays this good in its shape and its colors material so it's a good addition to my wardrobe. Beware when buying stretch fabrics. For example jeans that are like skinny and they say they have 100% stretch or something like that. I used to buy them however they used to fit me for about one month and then look horrible after that because a stretch makes the fit dissolve after a while. I always go for hard denim and ask if there's no stretch at all because then I have the perfect fit for my body and I know it's not gonna change at all. And last but not least for the grow up step is get to know the brands you love. Inform yourself about the fit of their clothes, what kind of materials they use. Is it cheap materials that will last you for six months or is it materials that will last you for the next decade? Now let's get into actually organizing and cleaning out my closet. Step one. No, I'm not talking about finding a new style you like on Instagram and then getting rid of all your clothes. We're basing this off of what you already love wearing, feel amazing in, and that you feel fits your age. I'm a Norwegian business student in London. I'm in my 20s. This outfit, for example, really, I feel, represents me. It's an alpaca wool jumper, which is like very Norwegian. We love alpaca, we love cashmere, we love wools. It's also a pastel color, which is very Scandinavian. And I also have these straight fit white jeans. These jeans are no stretch. They fit me quite nicely in that more mature way. Then, for example, how these jeans fit me when I was in, I think, middle school. <laughs> jeans that are a bit cropped as well, I feel give me that more mature look. I will probably wear this with a blazer to give me that business school look because we love a good blazer, it's very Londonish. This is the same blazer but with a different set of clothes underneath. This look is perfect for summer and spring because I'm not wearing a wool jumper underneath. I love a good ribbed singlet top in a neutral color because the ribbed material and the 
neutral colors make me feel and look a bit more mature. And of course, a pair of straight and hard denim jeans. So here's what you need to do. Go through what you're currently wearing. Do you feel good in it? Do you feel amazing in it? Do you feel your age in it? Go through your pictures on your phone. Look through outfits you're worn. What outfits do you like the most? What outfits did you feel the most amazing in? And then look at what kind of elements made that outfit work. My go-to outfit will probably always be a wool sweater, a pair of jeans, and a blazer. So try to find that clothing combination for you as well. For more inspiration, what I recommend you doing is actually going into Instagram and then creating a fashion folder on your saved. Maybe you see something cool that one person wore that you already have in your closet or maybe you need to go out and buy it sometime in the future, put it on your wish list. Like this is what I save on my phone. She's wearing jeans, she's wearing a t-shirt inside a shirt. Here also I have this whole outfit but I love how she styled it with sandals. Like I would never think to wear a blazer and jeans with sandals but it looks quite cool. So now that we've reminded ourselves of what we wear, what we don't wear and what we definitely should get rid of, it's time to actually go through everything that's in my closet. Let's get started. I'll also be taking out every single thing that's in my closet just because I know how much I love to just say, oh no, but I use that all the time. I'm gonna take out everything and then we're gonna go through each individual thing. Lately life's been a fleeting breeze, long vacation. I can't seem to look away from screens and the feelings just they never traction me. So long, so long. So I'll be sailing without no navigations. It's itching at my inner sanity, and I see her face when I just wanna sleep. To make the cleaning out process a bit easier, there are some specific things that I keep on my checklist of what is probably time to donate or sell. First, we have noisy graphic t-shirts. I actually thrifted this t-shirt, it's quite cool, but it's just something that doesn't like fit with everything else that I have in my closet anymore, and so I think it's time this gets a new home. Next is uncomfortable or young looking fabrics. So we're gonna have to say goodbye to this shorts. I bought this shirt in Urban Outfitters about two years ago. There's something about it that just doesn't, just doesn't fit me quite well. Things that are too tight, make you look younger, don't fit you well, they're the time to get rid of and donate. Next is pieces that don't fit with my style anymore. For example, this. I do not know what I should pair this with. The same with this one. Loved it for a while, but I just don't know what to pair with anymore. So these two things we're gonna donate as well. Find them a better home where they will be more used. And the last thing is things you haven't worn in a while because you don't like how it looks. This pair of jeans I bought, I thought they were super stylish. I wore them a couple of times and then I just realized they are way too short for me. These jeans are gonna have to go as well because they are way too short and they fit me quite strangely. Now let's get purging on the rest of this part of my closet and this huge part. <laughs> hangers I've removed from my closet. That is a lot. Here is what I have in my I'm not completely sure pile. This is my donate pile. This is my I think I will sell this pile. Essentially what is in here right now, everything that I've gone through so far that I'm sure I'm going to keep is stuff that I've worn a lot because they are the foundations of pretty much every outfit. These are the key pieces or basics that form the foundation of any wardrobe, including mine. So some of my basics include a good black t-shirt, jeans that fit you well, high quality lasting fabric, like a good wool, cashmere, or alpaca wool, for example, and your everyday shoes. For me, a basic piece is something that I can easily create a minimum of three outfits with. I asked you guys on my Instagram at Official for any occasions you would like some help getting dressed with. Four, getting just four. So here's two basic or key pieces from my wardrobe styled for all of those occasions. <laughs> So 
So we have the basics, now I still have a lot of clothes that we need to sort through. And they're all on my bed, so I need to clean this up before I go to sleep tonight. So basically everything we have left in this ginormous pile is going to be sorted into three new sections. So let's create some piles, shall we? have my three piles. This is stuff that I haven't worn in a long while. It's stuff that doesn't really fit me that well and I think it's time to let go of. This is stuff that I've been wearing. I just don't know how to style it. It's really nice stuff, that's the thing, so it's really difficult to let go of. I think I'm actually going to try all of these on just to take that final evaluation. And then this stuff is some cute party dresses that I'm going to be keeping in my storage. Let's hang these up in my storage closet and then let's tackle these. I already got rid of a huge pile of donate clothes from my room that I was sure I was gonna donate. Now that we have another pile of stuff I don't wear enough, I'm gonna sort that out as well once again. <laughs> oh my god, this is so much clothes! This is all my mom's stuff, so I think I'm gonna ask her what she wants to do with it before I choose what to do with it. Just making sure we got her opinion in here as well. These are items I don't know how to style, so we are going to try these on and see how they look, how they feel. Alright, first up we have these jeans. Let's actually test if it looks good with white. Like this could be a good combo. I think we're keeping these. I remember when I bought this, I thought it was so cool. I mean, obviously it's a very nice top, right? It just looks a bit young on me, I feel, or maybe I associate it with being younger. It's a hard one because I remember wearing this, I remember loving it when buying it. It's going to my decision. I think this might be a sell. Another one of these. I like the color of this more, better color and pattern for summer, also the stripes. Makes me feel a bit more mature than that other color over there did. So I think we're keeping this one. I put this in the not short pile. Then again, this this is the perfect dress for a 70s party if I'll ever attend one. So I'm keeping this. Again, this is a very cute one. Don't know if I would wear it a lot, but it is a seasonal piece and it does fit with like the kind of silhouettes that I would go for as well. And with some sandals, this would be quite cute. I think I'm saving this. This piece is a seasonal piece again. I actually have the same one in a different color. I don't tend to wear them when I'm in Oslo. They don't really fit the vibe. However, when I'm on holiday and you just want that loose fitting, comfortable outfit, I do wear these. If I know myself, I know I love to pack some really comfortable clothes on when on holiday or you just want to cycle to the beach or whatever. This is really good fabric as well. It's like linen. I think I'm going to keep these, put them in the seasonal and that's it. That was the last piece that I wasn't sure about. This is my updated selling pile and this is stuff that I should put into my wardrobe again because I decided they were worthy to give another shot. So let's put that in there. So here is my closet. Let's open my closet up and see how it looks inside. What's really good about cleaning out your whole wardrobe is you now know what you need to buy and whenever you see things in the store that you like, put them on your wish list, but don't buy them if you don't see there's a gap in your wardrobe for that item. I, for example, just realized that I now only have one shorts and one skirt in my whole wardrobe. I do have a few dresses, but for summer, maybe a few more items to, to wear. <laughs> also, you're probably taking away a lot of lower quality items for higher quality items. And if you see some gaps filling up in your wardrobe, do put these things on your wish list, wish for them for your birthday or for your Christmas gift and you can start building that wardrobe of your dreams because as I said like I've had some cashmere for three or four years. Some places that I look for investment pieces are excess only where for example the sweater is from and also the silk dress that I wore earlier. I also love No Name, it's a Norwegian brand that produces custom cashmere for you. Arkid has some really nice things and Vestair Collective if you want to buy vintage bags or other vintage clothes for like a cheaper price and also for summer things just because summer lasts for so short in this country and also in the UK. I like to look in cheaper places this is for example and other stories and Zara it's often like more timeless pieces you could wear it for quite some time and that's the next step you have to keep to build that grown-up wardrobe of your dreams thank you so so much for watching this video have a fun time growing up organizing and cleaning out your closet I hope it'll turn out the closet of your dreams and I will see you guys in my next video bye